beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're reviewing the Tony Dixon two-piece low D whistle, which also comes with a flute mouthpiece. So this is actually a three-piece set, and this was sent to me by bigwhistle.co.uk. Big Whistle is a website that sells a whole host of different low and high whistles from a range of makers across the globe, which just makes it really easy if you're based in the UK or even in some European countries, to get whistles that might come from further afield. So if you're interested to find out what brands and makes they have available at the moment, you can find them right up here on the little i and in the description down below. Now on to the whistle. Now this is the first time I've tried a low whistle from Dixon. I have always recommended these whistles without even having played them, and that is because every time I read reviews on these everybody's really pleased with them, and having had a play of this for the last week or so I can tell you I'm really glad that I recommended these whistles because they really are worthwhile. They are a great starting place, and even if you've been playing for a while, you can still get great sounds out of these whistles and make them sound absolutely gorgeous. Now it's part of what I consider the affordable low whistle range. This uh, low D whistle and flute mouthpiece set is just £99 on the Big Whistle website, so it's under £100 that comes in at an affordable low whistle. Now this whistle obviously is tunable, and that's because the mouthpiece is interchangeable with the flute mouthpiece. You just slide it off, and then slide the other one back on. Now those of you who are new to Irish flute, Irish flute is played transversely, like a regular flute. Where tin whistle is an end-blown style flute. And each of these styles of instrument have their own sound and their own merits, and obviously their own challenges as well. But before I get into that, let me show you some close-ups. So if I show you the close-ups of this PVC whistle, you'll see this beautiful moulded and shaped mouthpiece here for the whistle part, and it's comfortable in the mouth. This whole whistle is very lightweight, definitely one of the lightest I've picked up and played, which is great for those with arthritis or wrist problems, uh, anybody who struggles to cover finger holes might do quite well with this particular whistle. It's uh, got a nice shine to it, as you can see, and as we get a little further down you'll see the Tony Dixon logo engraved here on the whistle head. Now if I take this off you'll also see that on the joint here we have two sort of rubber rings, and this is lightly greased to just give it a nice little bit of maneuverability so you can tune this whistle as well. Also, uh, the rubber rings hold the heads in place, whether you're using the whistle head or whether you're using the flute head as well. As we go down the whistle, you'll see the finger holes aren't overly large or particularly distant. Very easy to cover with a regular standard piper's grip, although I would recommend using the piper's grip as the finger spacing is a little bit too far for the finger pads, unless you have rather large hands. I have sort of medium-sized hands, I do quite well on most whistles, but I would definitely recommend at the very least a half piper's grip, or going the full hog, and going full piper's grip top and bottom. Now as we move down to the end of the whistle, you'll see we have this alternative colouring at the bottom. This matches in perfectly with the alternative colouring on the flute mouthpiece. Now if you're unfamiliar with Irish flute mouthpieces, they are closed at the end, and they have a hole in the mouthpiece here, and you blow across that hole in order to make sound come out of the instrument. Again we have the engraved logo here, and this slides onto the body of the instrument just as the whistle mouthpiece does. Now as I've mentioned, the holes are pretty easy to cover on this whistle. As far as beginners go and whistles go, it's quite an easy hole coverage, so great for those just starting out on low whistle. Again, really, really lightweight, there's hardly anything to it, so definitely great for those people who struggle with the heavier whistles. Uh, it's not overly slippery, you do get a little bit of um, grip on it, which is nice, but you can get things like uh, thumb rests and elastic bands, anything like that will help keep this whistle in your hands if you struggle with that sort of thing. So let's give this a little play with the whistle head and see how it sounds.
You know, it might have helped if I'd played that tune once since I made the tutorial. <laughs> So, as you can hear, this whistle has an absolutely gorgeous sound. It is a really rich, resonant, um, kind of bellowing sound from a plastic whistle, which sometimes can have um, a lot of breathy airiness to it. This one is a little more on the punchy side. I really like that about it. It's super easy to hit those high notes um, and it's got a great volume throughout which is really impressive. Now for those of you that don't know a lot about flute mouthpieces they can be notoriously difficult to play and that is because there's an embouchure that's required in order to actually make a sound from this type of instrument. So there is a particular mouth position that you need to master in order to uh, play low notes and high notes, it changes as you go up the octave, um, so it is a little more difficult to get the hang of than a tin whistle which you just blow straight down and you should be able to play straight away. I don't actually play uh, Irish flute very often so I'm not overly great at the mouth positioning but I will give it a go for you guys nonetheless. <laughs> Irish flute part of this, it's honestly not something I'll end up using because I am one of those instrument players that if I can't play it immediately, I don't play it. <laughs> so I have got a few Irish flutes. Um, they're gorgeous, they have a completely different sound to low whistle which I really love, but I can't get used to the embouchure, it hurts my hands. It's not something I'm going to play, but if you do play Irish flute and you want to have the flexibility or you even want to try it and get started, it is a really great way to do it by having this accessibility and interchangeability with low whistle. It is really cool and really useful. So as you can hear there, we have super accurate tuning with the whistle, slightly less so with the flute, but definitely that is 100% down to my embouchure. Uh, the position you hold your mouth is so crucial with these um, that it really makes a difference. So yes, amazing tuning on both, but exceedingly impressive on the whistle part. <laughs> Also super easy to half hole on this, it's really responsive. So that is the Tony Dixon two-piece or three-piece low D whistle and flute set. As I said, this is retailing for £99 on the Big Whistle website. If you want to buy this whistle or check out the other whistles they have available, then do um, click the link up here on the eye or down in the description below. I don't get commissions or anything for this, um, they just send me free whistles to try out. Uh, which I'm really grateful for. So yeah, as always, my reviews are unbiased. I don't lie to you guys about whistles. There's no point. <laughs> the whistles speak for themselves. Now, I do have two other whistles from Dixon. 
um, that I will be showing you guys on the channel as well. One is the one piece non-tunable uh, polymer Lodi whistle or PVC Lodi whistle and the other one is the aluminium Lodi whistle so stay tuned for those reviews coming up in a few weeks time. I also have a uh, short video coming up comparing all my affordable Lodi whistle range um, so you can hear how those different whistles sound across the affordable range and work out which is the best one for you. All I can say about this whistle is obviously you get the benefit of trying out the flute as well. It has a gorgeous sound, it's super lightweight, easy to cover the holes. Honestly, I'd go as far to say it's definitely the best PVC whistle I've played. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed. So that is it from me today. Don't forget to check out some of my other reviews here on screen as well. And of course, head over to Big Whistle to check these whistles out. The tune I played today was Lunchtime Boredom. You can find that right here on screen. Happy whistling, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.